Welcome to Synthesize This. In this episode, we will be synthesizing a kick drum on the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is initialize a basic patch by going into global, selecting 34 and pressing right now. Now we've got a basic simple single oscillator patch. So first some theory about synthesizing a kick drum. The key thing is basically to have a sinusoid modulated by a pitch envelope really quickly. So there's two ways to do that. We could use the sine wave directly from the oscillators or we can use the sine wave from the filter because it self oscillates. So first let's do it with the basic oscillator sine wave. So we'll pick the first oscillator, change the shape into a sine wave. The next thing we want to do is have a rapidly decaying pitch envelope. So we'll use envelope 4 here, select the destination of oscillator 1 frequency, and then create a simple ADSR shape, quick attack, fairly rapid decay, a zero sustain, and a bit of release. So we'll increase the modulation amount to see what that sounds like. So that's the general effect. For now, I'm just going to disable keyboard tracking and set some frequency that sounds almost like a kick drum. The next thing we want to do is make sure the amplitude envelope is set properly. The key thing about a kick is to have a really quick attack, no sustain, and then you're sort of playing with decay and release to get your proper sound. You can get like long subby kicks if you make a long release, or we can make it a little shorter. The key thing I found about synthesizing percussion is it's all about subtlety and fine tuning of every parameter. Lower the pitch a little bit. Maybe the K is a little too much. We can go back and tweak our pitch envelope. Another thing I find helpful is to turn on the sequencer. Choose 1 16th. And we have a fairly basic kick sound going here, which you can start to tweak. lower. Another useful parameter I find with the Pro 2 is to add a bit of distortion which could fatten up the kick. You can get that kind of hard style kick. You can go exaggerate it. Cool thing about the sequencer is you can also modulate the distortion. You get kind of an interesting rhythm going. Another thing that other people like to do that I found is to add a bit of noise. Again, subtlety is key here. Just adds a little bit of dirt. Again, we can modulate this. And that's basically it for your basic kick drum using the sine oscillator. So let's reinitialize the patch. And now we're back here. The other way to do it, and the sort of more common way you'd find in other synthesizers, is to use the low pass filter with high resonance. This only works for self oscillating filters, but basically it produces a sine wave. We're just going to go ahead and turn off this oscillator. 
because the only sound source we're going to need is the, the filter. I'm going to lower the cutoff all the way down because basically your, the cutoff frequency is going to control the frequency of the note once it self oscillates. So we're going to start cranking up the resonance until we start hearing a sound. And basically we're gonna follow the exact same process as we did with the oscillator based kick drum is that we're gonna use a quick pitch modulation to quickly start off at a high pitch and then modulate back down quickly. So since we have a built-in envelope for the cutoff frequency, we're just gonna use envelope one here. And we're gonna create the basic shape as we did before with zero tag, zero sustain, and then we're gonna play with release and decay. So already we're in sort of pretty decent kick territory here. And then like I said, it's all about subtle tweaking. Low attack, low sustain, and some middle-ish areas for decay and release, depending on what kind of kick you want, obviously. And that's the beauty of synthesizing your own kicks, is that you can sort of tweak your kick to your liking and have it perfectly in tune with your song instead of relying on a sample. Again, let's go back to the sequencer and put in a basic kick pattern. And you get a really subby kick. Make sure you put your headphones on if you want to hear it. And again, we can play with the distortion. All right, so now that we have a basic kick sound, let's see what it sounds like with a Korg Volca Beats. Hey guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with future videos like this one. I'll see you guys later.